Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruding. And I'm Erin McBride. A bill to make distracted driving a primary offense in Ohio is on the way. The bipartisan bill introduced by Senator Stephanie Kunze and Senator Sean O'Brien would allow law enforcement officers to stop a vehicle if that driver is using a handheld electronic device while driving. ODOT Director Jack Marchbanks joined Governor Mike DeWine and Ohio Department of Public Safety Director Tom Stickrath to show support for the legislation. The governor is committed to addressing the growing issue following the release of a report by a task force on distracted driving. We are confident that by taking the phones out of drivers' hands, it will change distracted driving behaviors in Ohio, and we know that this will save lives. We know that distracted driving is vastly underreported, but the statistics we do have show nearly 40 deaths and more than 12,000 crashes last year in Ohio were the result of a distracted driver. Well, this winter hasn't brought a lot of snow to Ohio, but our crews did get a chance to battle Mother Nature over the past weekend. It wasn't a lot of snow, but enough to keep our crews busy. Nearly 1,300 trucks were on the road at one point on Friday. The bulk of the snow hit northern Ohio with whiteout conditions hitting the snow belt and eastern Ohio. Light snow continued over the weekend with another round of whiteout conditions in western and central Ohio on Sunday. Our crews used more than 39,000 tons of salt over the weekend to keep you safe on the road. Another winter storm hit the state midweek, dumping several inches of snow, mainly north of I-70. The heaviest snow fell in northeast Ohio's snow belt, where lake effect snow piled up. Again, our crews handled it and kept roads passable during the event and quickly cleared them after the snow finally stopped. Since it's Valentine's Day, our Hunu Guru is here to share the love our crews got on social media. Hey, thanks so much. Look, we're here at the Hilliard Garage, and you know, with this past winter storm, I got my fellas here with me. They've all been out working this weekend, right? Yes, sir. sir. That's right. We did like, what, 12, 16 hour shifts? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know, there's nothing I like to do more than to spread some love. So I'm here to deliver some love letters from social media. So check this out. Love Michelle from uh, Columbus, she says, I was quite impressed with the conditions of Columbus highways this morning. Nice job by the drivers. That makes me feel real good. Okay, we got one from Becca. I would like to thank each and every one for clearing and salting the roads and the interstate. Without, we couldn't get around safely, and thank you. From Anthony Cartwell, I just drove from Columbus to Youngstown. Clear roads, no issues. Thank you, ODOT. You guys, you work hard, you know, you um, sacrifice time with your family, right? All to make the road safe for everybody. Hey, thank you so much for all the love letters you sent to our men and women out there who sacrifice time away from their family, their friends, all to make sure you get where you need to get to safely. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media. And we always love your story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now, you're in the loop. Happy Valentine's Day. Ew. <laughs>